Okay, pupils, we are on this year two super mice workbook on page 66 to page 67. So this is activity one. Write H for healthy or U for unhealthy. So this is, uh, we have these eight activities here. So we will see it one by one. So number one, so she is eating apple, which is healthy. We need we need to eat more veggie and fruits than meats. So this is healthy. And then number two, he's eating processed food. So like hamburger, so which is unhealthy. We should eat less processed food and eat more fruits and veggie. So this is you. And then we have number three so if you look at the clock here so it shows 12 a.m. in the midnight so he's still reading which is not good and then he used the torch light to read the book so which is not very good so this is unhealthy and number four she is swimming so she's doing sports, which is good for health. So this is healthy, H. And then we have number five. So similar to number four, just another outdoor activities. So he's playing football, so which is good for your health to circulate your blood. So this is H, healthy. And then we have number six. So if it shows the clock around 10 o'clock at night so she's still playing computer games so which is not very good and it will so the blue light from this PC screen will make you even hard to fall asleep so which is not good for your sleep so you will need around 8 hours for adequate sleep so this is unhealthy Number seven, so this is, if you first look at it, this is not gamble. So this is much like they are playing Monopoly, some sort of the social games, which is healthy. So sometimes we need to spend quality times with our families member. So this is healthy. And then this is He's playing piano, which is also a good. So sometimes you need to explore other skills. So this is good for this boy. So this is good for you also. If you consider to learn piano, so this is healthy. And then let's go to page 67, activity one. Think, read and write the numbers. So she's watching TV, she's playing football, she's reading. So we read the text here. So my week, so one week we have seven days. So from Mondays, from Monday to Sunday, or up to you from Sunday to Saturday. So we have seven days in a week. So on Mondays, I watch TV for two hours. I play football for one hour and I read for one hour. On Tuesdays, I watch TV for three hours. I don't do sport and I read for two hours. On Wednesdays, I watch TV for one hour. I play tennis for one hour and I read for one hour. On Thursdays, I don't watch TV. I swim for one hour and I read for two hours. On Fridays, I watch TV for two hours. I play football for one hour, but I don't read. On Saturdays and Sundays, I do nothing. So number one already given answer. I do sport for four hours a week. So if you look at it, if you calculate carefully, so do sport meaning including 
uh, playing football so this is one so one and then we have this one is zero don't do sport and then playing tennis one hour and then swim also one hour and then we have so she play football again another one hour so if you, if you add up it is one two three four four hours a week next we take a look at number two I watch TV for so this one you need you need to determine how many hours or calculate how many hours in a week so we look at this keyword here TV so TV on Mondays for two hours and then we have Tuesdays for three hours and then this Wednesdays for one hour and we have this one zero on Thursdays and then on Fridays we have another two hours and then because Saturday and Sundays she didn't do anything so we don't include that so TV we look at this TV and it, and we we add up all together so 2 plus 3 equals 5 5 6 7 8 so total about 8 hours so 8 so we use don't use mathematical figure we use the alphabets so e i g h t for 8 8 hours a week and then we take a look at number three I read for so this are how many hours a week and then we see this keyword here read so read we have this one one hour and then we have these two hours here two and then this one another one hour and then on Thursdays two hours and then Fridays and Fridays Saturdays and Sundays because this one do nothing and then this one she also don't read so we just add up the first four days so this one so we add up 2 1 plus 2 equals 3 4 5 and 6 so to total around 6 hours so 6 S I X so I read for six hours a week so that's it for today so we are on this year two super mice workbook on page 66 until 67 so if you're okay you can subscribe here and then you can consume the related contents here and then right below this video there's a link you can click it you can join my diagram robot for free that I developed earlier